Bob and Mary are spending the day with their grandchildren, Ava and Mac. Their first stop, lunch at the Town Diner in East Windsor, New Jersey. But their generational differences are keeping them from seeing eye to eye. How you been doing in school, kids? Not bad. Ava, look up at your grandfather when he's talking to you. On everything from technology... I don't understand why your parents let you have these things. ...to manners... You know, when your mother was your age, we taught her how to actually look at people, how to have a conversation. ...to discipline. Your parents let you get away with everything. Well, it doesn't happen when you're with us. If you witness grandparents becoming exasperated by their grandchildren's conduct... Kids today. They have no respect. What would you do? Ava, do you have to play the game the whole time you're sitting here with us? Do you have to do anything around your house? Or do you just get your allowance no matter what? We just get our allowance. Just get your allowance. Boy, this pair starts to listen spoiled. in as Bob and Mary so do nothing but disapprove of the distracted youngsters. All right, I'm going to go wash my hands. When our grandparents step away... Now you both stay off those devices until we come back. They lay down the law. Don't move, and don't be talking to anybody. Ava defies their orders, seeking solace in these other diners. They make us seem like everything we do is wrong. OK, sit down, relax. But you know, sometimes you have to just get OK, and then don't give too much advice. You'll be involved in something you don't want to be involved in. But when the grumpy grandparents return... Didn't I tell you not to look at those things when we were gone? You don't listen. Sir, enough, OK? I'm not taking it to you. You I'm, are. I'm you're so shouting to everybody here. I'm sorry. Sit I didn't mean, down to, and I didn't leave mean us to disturb alone. you. Well, you have. I have you a problem look, with this. Look around. Oh, take it out of the no, no, I can't take that. And he's not the only one compelled to speak up. Don't talk to those children. They don't listen to us. They don't have to listen to you right now. You're not being nice. Do you have grandkids? Yeah, we yes, all I do. do. All they do is look at these machines. What it's a different doing? generation. You have to accept Let that they're not going to be the same Take it as out you. of the... I would never speak to my grandchildren the way you do. It's disgusting, really. It's abuse. Hey, I heard you. I, I would be ashamed if you were my grandfather and oh grandmother. My God. You felt for those kids. I did. I mean, they were horrible grandparents, I thought. <laughs> grandparents are for love and, you know, good things. You yelled at them. I couldn't help it. And I said to my wife, don't get involved. You didn't want her to get in? <laughs> I said, take it easy. But then I lost it. <laughs> Your advice to those grandparents? Treat the kids like they're human. I mean, it was terrible. We're back at the table, and the kids can't seem to do anything right. Mac, would you please sit up? I can't stand watching you slouching all the time. Is this better? Yes. We brought up your mother differently. My father used to whip me with his belt. Put the thing down. I don't want to see you using that. When we send Bob and Mary away once again, Ava quickly finds this friendly face. I just want to tell you, I'm, I have four grandchildren, and it's a different world today which the grandparents don't understand. But they happen to be right in many aspects. What should I do when he comes back? When he comes back, if I were you, explain to him that, you know, you love him, so he'll see your side of the story. Then he's unexpectedly drawn right into the middle of this family feud. Is she bothering you? Absolutely not, sir. Absolutely not. She was supposed to be sitting here. We told her not to talk she to She apologized. She wanted to apologize to me. She's apologizing to you. She won't talk to us. It's a different world today, ma'am. You don't realize it. We're trying to have our daughter raise good kids. Everybody wants that, sir. It's exasperating sometimes. I agree with you. Look, yeah. I know firsthand how it is, because I lose my composure as well. But I've learned to control myself. Honestly, and I'm not trying to ridicule you. Believe me, I'm not. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. They continue scolding the kids for being on their devices. Ava, I asked you to please put that away. And in front of this couple, Bob says the unthinkable. I really wish you weren't our grandkids. And the diners react right away. Oh my God, will you stop? 
Can you hear how you're speaking to them? Where? It's so That's... rude. Okay, they're playing with their games. Ask them nicely to put it down. Don't tell them that you wish they weren't your grandkids. How rude that is that? Right. I would never go out to eat with you two. You don't realize. Stop. You have to stop. You're right, but you're doing it the wrong way. Not here. But you're right. He makes it clear that he agrees with the message, although not the delivery. We're just trying to teach them good manners. I know, but you're embarrassing them. That's not what you do. You don't have grandchildren. I you do have grandchildren. I'm, I'm like having a nervous breakdown over here listening to you. I can't listen to this anymore. I can't. All right, break it. We won't make them listen anymore. How are you? Boy, you couldn't take it anymore. Oh, I am from Brooklyn. And when I got something to say, I say it. What did it for you? What put you over the edge? I'm a grandmother, so I have two granddaughters, and I would never speak to them like that, ever. I mean, the way they were talking to them was not acceptable. You glad you spoke up? Yes, I am. I always speak up. <laughs> As we're rolling one last time, this mother and her two daughters sit down for dinner. Put the things away and look at the menu, all right? Ava, Ava. your grandfather you is talking to you. In an instant, mom is aware of what's happening. I don't know what your mother is teaching you at home, but this is not going to fly with us. When I ask you to do something, do it. She's trying to tend to her own children, but she can't keep her eyes off the scene at the next table. Don't make me have to yell at you. And it's this insult from our Grandpa. You know, I'm ashamed to call you my grandkids. That really bothers her. Look at how they're talking. Mom, stop! Although her own children try to stop her, she can't hold in her emotions any longer. Excuse me, but how, how can you talk to your grandchildren like that? What did I do? I'm just... I'm... I know, but they, you know, they're out to lunch with you or dinner with you. They, they have their cell phones. It's not that big a deal, but at least they're, they're, they're out here with you. You're talking to them like they're a piece of crap. I'm sorry you're so upset, but, you know, we, we've been having problems with them all the way over here. Then she makes a plea to the children as well. Get some crayons and, and, and just be with your grandparents because they're not going to be here forever. You know, life is so short. And it's, I mean, so many people don't even have their grandparents. So can you please put your phones down and just enjoy your meal with them? And just think about it. I mean, really, this is all we have is one life. <laughs> Time to meet this warm-hearted woman. I'm John Quinones. It's, it's only a TV show. They're actors. OK? Are you serious? <laughs> OK. I'm so sorry we upset you. Why did you do that? I just felt like I have to be an advocate for, for kids. And um, I had some issues with my father, was a very angry person. And we had situations at dinner where things would be thrown and horrible things would be said. And I made an effort for the rest of my life to stand up for children that need to have that voice. Oh, honey, <laughs> you did a beautiful job. Oh, gosh. oh my goodness. I'm so happy that wasn't really so shaking. I was in tears watching you.